Turkey Plains and RC here operating at 2.4 gigahertz and got my get out of the way. Sheesh, what the It's a real jerk, isn't he? Alright, let's talk yet again about building a flight test airplane. Or doing another flight test build. So here we go. Let's talk about it. Because you know, that's what I like to do around here. I love foam board. What can I say? Look at this. Here's the FT Mini Scout. Giving this one a try. Now something I want to kind of mention here real quick. And I'm kind of going outside of my my comfort zone a little bit. But what, I, what I'm trying to say is, is that when I... After that, you know, period as a teenager when I became too scared to fly the planes and I ended up selling the one I had and then I started to get back into doing flying planes and trying again. What really got me started flying again successfully and having a good experience with was the Horizon Hobby or Hobby Zone, well, they're all kind of the same, uh, Ultra Micro Planes, uh, particularly the Hobby Zone Champ. That's one of the ones that got me started. Also, the Hobby Zone Sport Cub S is another one, which, which had the uh, safe system in it and the AS3X, uh, as well as, um, so I had a couple Park Zone microplanes in there, like the uh, the J3 Piper Cub and the um, the Micro T28 Trojan. You know, all those more or less kind of got me back into flying again and having some fun. And one of the bad things about those little micro airplanes is that, by default, they come with a little... A miniature brushed motor uh, and they operate on a one cell battery so um, and of course the other with them being micro the size of course is, is also relatively small and honestly they, they were great little flyers but one of the bad things about them is is that they can't handle the wind that great so I kind of was wanting to steer clear of doing any kind of micro planes when I started tackling flight test stuff here and I, I've kind of went out of my comfort zone there and have started to sort of more or less dig into the micro uh, series uh, airplanes a little bit. Uh, one of which that I had uh, as a feature here on the channel is the Long EZ. Uh, that's kind of one of the ones I'm one of the ones I've started with as far as doing micros or minis as they call them. Like this guy, this is the Mini Scout. So. I hear a lot of good things about this one uh, from the forums and everything. And like I said, it kind of, it, it, I was a little bit unsure because of the small size. Like, you know, hey, I, hey guys, you know, these things are, they're probably, it's probably not good in, in the wind and stuff and and whatnot. But, you know, a lot of guys on the forums swear by them. I think they're great little airplanes to try out. So I decided to go ahead and slap some foam board pieces together and create, well I don't create, but to make the FT Mini Scout. So I'm going to give this one a try. Now one thing about the, the Mini series from Flight Test is a lot of them, um, you know, like, like with the, the Hobby Zone Micro Series, it was always one cell batteries. You know, these things right here can operate on two and up to three cell batteries. So I'm thinking it's going to be a little more power. Maybe it'll handle the wind a little bit better. So we'll see. All right, so FT Mini Scout. We're going to give this guy a try. Now, originally, this was a, uh, through the plans and the design, it was just originally laid out as a three-channel airplane. But I decided to get creative and fun and adventuresome and figured, let's add some ailerons to the mix here. So I have went ahead and put in some servos for some ailerons, and we're going to try it as a four-channel. I figured that will kind of make it a little more, more interesting and hopefully give me some more, uh, um, a little bit of a wider uh, flight envelope to kind of mess around and play with. So, FT Mini Scout, let's see if this thing lives up to what the people on the forum say. I think it will. I think, it, I, I expect to see some really great success out of this thing. And it seems like it's, it's you know, it will be, will be a good, durable, easy flying airplane. Um, especially in the durable aspect. This thing, it seems like to me, it could take a beating and still 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 keep going so that's a definite plus in my opinion so ft mini scout expect to see more of it here on the channel again i will create a playlist for the ft mini scout and i will go ahead and uh, have that here on the channel i'll have this this video uh, included with it 
so you guys can check it out. And of course, I'll be adding more FT Mini Scout videos in the future uh, and adding them to that playlist so you guys can check that out. So join me on this journey to check out the FT Mini Scout as well. So, so anyways, that is all for me. Well, thank you guys for watching, and we will see you in the next video.